Face portraits uh, can be utilized to analyze the qualitative behavior of second order nonlinear systems. Uh, there are different techniques uh, to uh, plot phase portraits uh, for these systems. Uh, we have talked about use of MATLAB to generate uh, phase portraits. Uh, we have also talked about uh, analytical method uh, to generate phase portraits. And in today's lecture, we shall talk about this third approach. Uh, this uh, approach involves uh, a lot of com computations. Uh, however, uh, this can be applied to relatively more complex uh, systems compared to this one. So let's talk about this third approach. So to talk about uh, this approach method of isoclines to construct phase portraits, let's again consider our general second order nonlinear system. And uh, the slope of tangent to a trajectory at this point in phase plane, that is given by this expression. What is trajectory? Trajectory of plot of x1 and x2 in uh, phase plane and uh, the uh, tangent to that trajectory at this point that is given by this relation. That is simply uh, the differential change in vertical axis divided by differential change in horizontal axis. That is the slope that you already know. And dx2 by dx1 that is given by this relation f2 divided by f1. So isocline, what is isocline? Isocline is locus of the points with a given tangent slope. That is in the phase plane, there will be certain points on which the trajectories will have the same slope and set of those points that is uh, the isocline. Uh, that is, uh, for example, uh, slope equal to alpha. So set of all the points, all the points in this plane x1, x2 plane, which have uh, on which the trajectories have tangent slope equal to alpha, those points will be called isoclines. Uh, this point will be more clear when we, we shall discuss this thing with the help of examples. The same expression uh, can also be written into this form by simply multiplying uh, this uh, f1 to the right hand side of this equation uh, we have this relation. So in this method what we do is we obtain a field of direction of tangents to trajectories. Here uh, there are some dif uh, difficult words so that will be uh, more clear when we shall talk uh, with the help of some example. And once we have these directions, uh, then from these directions, we plot the trajectories of the system. Let's elaborate this point. Uh, consider again uh, this uh, system, uh, second order system. And uh, this can be written in state space form. Uh, x1 dot is equal to x2 and x2 dot is equal to minus x1. That you already know how to write it. So what is equation for isocline? Isocline uh, is a set of all the points in this phase plane which have the same slope, uh, tangent slope. So tangent slope of uh, trajectories that is given by dx2 divided by dx1 which is f2 divided by f1 and let's substitute it to be equal to some constant alpha, right? So this equation, this one can be rearranged to write it in this particular form. So what is this uh, equation? Equation of a, this is equation of a straight line in x1, x2 plane. So this is equation of a straight line which describes the isocline for uh, this system. Uh, that is all trajectories that will be passing through this line will have the same slope. For example, uh, if we substitute alpha equal to 0, then we can easily plot this line. Uh, how to plot this line? Uh, here is a, a simple graph paper and we have x1 axis, x2 axis. And uh, how to plot this line for different values of alpha? 
for example for this particular value of alpha uh, what is this line slope of this line is infinity so this is a line on this vertical axis so here uh, we have plotted a line on the vertical axis on this line all the trajectories which will be passing through this line will have the same tangent slope what will be tangent slope of those trajectories tangent slope of those trajectories will be equal to alpha and alpha in this particular case is chosen to be equal to 0 so all trajectories which will be passing through this isoc line will have a tangent slope of 0 so let's uh, uh, show it over here so all uh, the some discrete points are shown over here anyway uh, any trajectory which will be passing through this uh, vertical line isoc line all those uh, trajectories will have tangent slope equal to 0 let's take a few more values of alpha and plot the isoc lines uh, for example, alpha equal to 1, uh, what is uh, this line? Uh, this is a line with slope of minus 1, that is minus 45 degrees. Uh, how to plot this particular line in this uh, phase plane? Through origin with a slope of uh, minus 45 degrees. So, it is uh, this isoc line is plotted over here. So, all the trajectories which are passing through this isoc line will have a slope of how much all the trajectories passing through this isoc line will have slope equal to 1 slope equal to 1 means 45 degrees so some uh, discrete points are plotted uh, over here uh, let's take a few more values of alpha for alpha equal to minus 1 uh, this is a straight line with a slope of 45 degrees. So let's plot this line. Uh, on this isoc line, what will be slope of tangent trajectories? Minus 45 degrees. So line, uh, small lines with slope of minus 45 degrees. And let's uh, plot a few uh, more lines. For example, uh, alpha equal to infinity. Uh, this uh, this line has a slope equal to this line for alpha equal to infinity this line has slope equal to 0 yes you can take uh, any values of alpha and corresponding to that particular value of alpha uh, you plot the isoc lines so uh, this line uh, for alpha equal to infinity is a line on this horizontal axis over here on this isoc line what will be slope of tangent trajectories tangent to the trajectories will be e infinity alpha is infinity and let's draw it over here so we have uh, drawn some isoc lines on this uh, phase plane with the help of these isoc lines we shall draw uh, the phase portraits for a given initial condition for example uh, we want to let's say we want to uh, plot phase portraits corresponding to this initial condition so how we should proceed from here the trajectories which are passing through this uh, this isoc line all of those trajectories have slope of tangent slope of how much zero degrees so i shall extend this line with uh, this slope up to which point up to approximately middle of these two lines so this is a, a rough sketch hand sketch so this is not very accurate more are the number of isoc lines uh, more uh, will be the accuracy in this plot so we have taken less number of isoc lines to avoid computational complexity so here we have drawn a line uh, with slope equal to 0 degrees because all the trajectories passing through this isoc line have tangent slope of 0 degrees so from here up to uh, middle of these two lines this isoc line and this isoc line we should proceed with slope of how much slope equal to slope of uh, these uh, uh, trajectories uh, so we have proceeded with this slope right and uh, next 
all the trajectories passing through this isocline those trajectories have uh, the tangent to those uh, trajectories have uh, this slope infinity so from here up to this point approximately we should proceed uh, we should draw a line with slope equal to infinity so here is that line uh, we can uh, pr uh, repeat this procedure uh, from here to here uh, slope we should move with slope equal to slope of these uh, lines and then uh, this complete this graph complete this graph so this is phase portrait for this particular system for this initial condition uh, it uh, we already know from our previous discussion that this was a circle uh, over here it is not precisely a circle because we have taken less number of isoclines if you take more number of isoclines it will be uh, more closer to a circle but number of computations will be increased